Assalamu alaikum everybody. So inshallah we'll be uh, commenting very briefly on the first ayah from a beautiful passage which is to be found in Surah Al-Furqan which describes the uh, qualities of a true believer and it sets the benchmark of what a true believer should be like the aspiration and the target we should all be aiming for to try and achieve such heights that Allah himself has praised in this passage that our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that those who have these qualities they truly deserve the title of servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah says The true servants of Ar-Rahman of the Lord of Mercy are those who walk on the earth humbly and when the foolish address them improperly, they only respond with salam. So in this ayah, our Lord has highlighted certain qualities of the believer. Humility, patience, forbearance, and speaking good words. And really it's an answer to a question. How do the servants of Allah interact with others? What is their character when they engage with other people? And the answer is displaying good manners, to let things go, to always maintain the higher ground the higher moral ground. And one of the wisdoms of why Allah starts this passage describing the believers with this particular quality is that when someone looks at us from the outside, looks at us from outside in, the first thing that person will realize is not Islam, but he will see Muslims. He will see individuals. He will see us as people. He won't notice our beliefs. That comes after investigation, but he will notice our characters. He will notice what we do. And so Allah is telling people if you want to see Islam exemplified, look at how the true servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behave. So Ibadur Rahman al Yamshuna al Allah is highlighting the importance of carrying ourselves in this way. Yamshuna. This word doesn't just mean here in this context walking, but it also means how we engage with and interact with people. And it also shows, therefore, that Muslims are not hermits. We don't cut ourselves off from people, we don't isolate ourselves in our hermitage, hermits or monasteries or homes. The Muslims are out amongst the people. Yes, on some occasions where there's a need, they do isolate themselves, but this is not the norm. Now remember, Surah Al-Furqan is actually an early Meccan, it's actually a Meccan Surah. It's around the 40th chapter revealed after Yasin. And there are not that many Muslims around at that time. The companions who are immediately addressed here are living amongst non-Muslims. They're living amongst kufr and shirk and debauchery and alcohol, non-Muslim festivals, etc. Much like we are. So the Ibad rahman who have been play, praised here in this verse are those who walk amongst and interact with both the Muslim and the non-Muslim with this air of dignity. But not only this, they are walking amongst them as Muslims, acting as Muslims, talking as Muslims, dealing as Muslims. They are not concealing their identity because they're embarrassed about their faith. The only time some of them did so was when they feared for their lives. But otherwise they are proud ambassadors of Islam. Here in this ayah, Allah is praising these servants of Al-Rahman. May Allah make us from amongst them for the manner of their interactions. And he describes it with one word, hon. Yamshuna ala al-ardi hona. And hon, it means tranquility and serenity and dignity without arrogance, without strutting about. This is the way in which the servants of Ar-Rahman carry themselves. Why do they carry themselves in this manner? How are they able to do so? What gives them the strength to do so? Because, as some of the scholars stated, they are walking with people, they are amongst the people, but their hearts are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Their hearts are at rest. And so this shows on their outward actions. So we have two aspects mentioned here. Their manner of walking, dignified, serene, without arrogance, and the manner of conducting themselves and engaging with others, again, dignified, serene, without arrogance. And this specific quality of hone, of having this quality of hone, is has got so much reward attached to it. Our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man kana layyinan, hayyinan, zahlan, harramahullahu ala nar. That whoever is kind and has this quality of being of hone, of being affable, and is easygoing, Allah will forbid him from entering hellfire. And some of the Salaf, they also made a very important observation about this ayah. Yamshuna al-Ardi Hona. 
Part of the meaning, they said, is that when they walk amongst people, when they walk through the earth, they ensure that they protect their eyes and their ears and even their limbs from doing anything that will displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وعباد الرحمن الذين يمشون على الأرض هنا وإذا خاطبهم الجاهلون قالوا سلاما. And when the ignorant address them, when the foolish address them, improperly, coarsely, impolitely, they don't respond with like, they don't stoop to their level, they respond with hilm and saf, they respond with forbearance and patience and overlooking. They say words of peace. As Allah says in Surah Al Qasas. And they turn away whenever they hear frivolous talk, saying, We have our deeds, you have your deeds. Peace be with you. We want nothing to do with those who act ignorantly. Qalu Salama. The Salaf, they give three basic views about what Qal Salam here means in this context. All of them are meant. One is they literally say, Assalamu alaikum, Salamu alaikum. Another is they say, We won't stoop to your level. We are free of you. We absolve ourselves of your behavior and the way you are talking. And the third is that they say good words. They say words of peace. Rather than inflaming the situation, they respond in a good way. And they counter negativity with positivity. So this ayah, there's so many points of benefit. But in summary, it tells us that the Ibad al-Rahman are out there engaging with people. Their manner, their character is defined by humility and mercy. Modesty governs what they do, how they talk to people and how they interact with them. They preserve their eyes, ears and tongue. They are patient at injury and offensive statements from people and respond with good words that dampen inflammatory behavior. May Allah make us from those who live their lives in accordance with this ayah. May Allah make us from those who live these verses and actualize this passage, this beautiful passage, in our daily lives. Make us from amongst those who are truly deserving of being called Ibadur Rahman, servants of the Lord of mercy. Jazakumullah khayran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.